Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another NBA 2K14 micro gameplay with Denny Tice, Tyson Chandler, and the New York Knicks. Want to know after Denny's first career game, and Denny's on the score table again, and I think he's about to do his backflip again, is he? Yeah, he does, and he sticks the landing again. Oh, Denny, that might be his new thing to start games. But, um, yeah, we're wanting to know. Denny missed the shot at the end of the game, but Amari got the um game-winning put back with about 25 seconds left, and then we held out the Bucks. After like a last second shot by OJ Mayo. And now here we are in Chicago on Halloween playing against Derrick Rose in the Chicago Bulls. Derrick Rose coming back from an ACL injury sat out the whole last year. And this is the second game back. And Denny, this is a tough tax for any rookie. So let alone the 24th pick of the draft. You know that probably doesn't even play big minutes usually. So we're going to try to do our best. There we fouled D Rose. But yeah, keep in mind where we came from, okay? We just happened to get. We just happened to be in the showcase there. We probably weren't going to be drafted otherwise, and somehow we got put in crunch time in our first career game. So let's just, you know, we don't know what the ceiling is for Denny yet. We're just, we're still trying to learn the NBA game right now. We're still trying to learn, you know, where open shots are and stuff like that. And you see me get a steal, stripping someone. It might have been Heinrich, and then I accidentally throw the turnover right back. I didn't mean to throw in the paint. I think I hit X and. Carmelo was X, and somehow the ball went into the paint instead of two Carmelo, so that was kind of weird, and you see the advertisement there for Denny Tice, the Knicks trying to sell high on Tice, they think he has a pretty high ceiling, and hopefully we got a high ceiling with this um, Denny Tice to Amari Stoudemire connection, you see Amari going to work in the paint, got great uh, post positioning there, and I believe Noah, and he ended up getting that there, that was a shot Denny could have probably taken, but Tim Hardaway Jr. knocks down the three, and um, I'm liking Hardaway Jr., he's a pretty decent player, and... I don't know, even though he is a rookie, he was the actual 24th pick of the Knicks. And he's playing some minutes, and I like his shooting. I don't know about defense, but I like his shooting. And here, you see shot clock winding down. Rose wants to put some moves on Tice, but cannot. And um, just to wrap some things up, that I talked about briefly between the last two videos about how um, I had an... Uh, watch this. Like, I'm just... We're just starting to knock down threes all over the place. We just go on a three-point barrage. And then he's like the facilitator through all of it. But yeah, um, I spent about 7,000 VC on my player... Before the account got corrupted. And then I spent about 7,000 VC again. The stuff I mentioned last video. And then I also bought level 1 a dimer. And level 1 a closer. And since I bought the um, 50,000 VC pack thing. For $10. After I um I lost the VC. Since I figured you know. Like the 50,000 was $10. I was, uh, 10, 000, buying 10,000 is $3. Buying 50,000 is $10. So I figured you know what. What the hell. Why not just spend the extra 7,000. It's a good deal. Why not. Now, I wasn't going to spend it all on my player. Make him like a 99 overall. I was just going to buy back the stuff I had. And then I bought some stuff like the Denny Tice backflip. And the um, CP3 shot release. And then some of the other stuff you see Denny do. At the um, beginning of games. Like the um, the buzzer beater thing he did with Chandler. I bought some of that stuff. Which isn't really a big deal. It has nothing to do with the game. I just figured I'd buy some of those extra stuff. Because why the hell not. And then I also bought the Gatorade Prime Pack. With some of the extra VC I had. Which I was going to buy anyways. Um, if, even if I didn't lose all the VC. And then I also got 4 General. Which is. I don't think there's any use for it. But I bought it anyways. So that's that's the stuff I bought. And that's where we are. Denny is still 69 overall. Going to be a 69 overall for a while. I'm not going to buy any more VC or anything like that. I never won to in the first place. It just happened that way. We're just going to try to earn the VC the old fashioned way. Through playing my career games. And progressing our player that way. Instead of you know using more money through the system or anything like that but um anyways this game we got brought in crunch time again out of nowhere for some reason coach brought us in at crunch time and then he once again trying to deliver you know making some key assists to his teammates not scoring and he still has not scored his first career bucket even though he did score his first career um point at the foul line but that was not supposed to be a fadeaway shot that was bad and now all of a sudden the bulls have a chance to tie the game and i gotta guard d rose here but Oh man, the help defense was there. Tyson Chandler, the reigning defensive player of the year, just rejects Derrick Rose. No, 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 not today, D Rose. And now Denny Tice is going to go to the foul line after that foul. I didn't even want this free throw shot. I tried passing out of it, but they passed it back to me. I'm not confident in my free throw because, as you saw, I already missed one this game. So here we are at the free throw line. We made our first free throw. Now the second one to make it a two possession game. Denny Tice, the rookie, makes it. <laughs> Scary, but we make it. Felton still on the bench. Dang shooting a wild three. They get the offensive rebound and the putback with... No, they get the foul. 
But eventually, Jimmy Butler makes both his free throws, and we're going back to the line. Then he gets the inbounds pass again. This time, I was more wanting to get it. I was more confident in my release now that I had those two free throws, and I meant both of them. D-Rose picks up his fourth foul. Then he knocks down the first free throw. Bulls are out of timeout, so I can make this free throw. It pretty much closes the game with 4.8 seconds left, and then he ties, knocks it down, and... The Bulls are basically done. And D Rose is going to try to throw up one more shot from half court or pretty much with the logo at the buzzer. Does not get to go. And the New York Knicks go to a 2 0 with Denny Tice playing in crunch time instead of Raymond Felton, which I'm cool with, man. I'm cool with. And you guys will see, um, next game coming up is against the Timberwolves, the team that I almost went on. As you guys remember, I had the vote, um, Knicks or Timberwolves. And you guys chose Knicks. More people chose Knicks than Timberwolves, so I went to the Knicks. But the other team that I would have went to if I actually did the rookie showcase right, like the way I did it the first time, was the Timberwolves. And what is this dude talking? What is this dude giving me the, Tim, the um the Kembe finger for? Shut up, dude. My team won the game. I really don't care. I'm not out there to score right now. Though um, this game, I actually do pick up my scoring. I think I, right here, I knocked down my first career bucket, Denny Tice, not at three, right on the line, that's kind of a rookie mistake, I'm um, doing the thing at the line right there, instead of getting the three, but this is not what rookies usually do, they don't throw lobs like this, and look at Tyson Chandler, ferociously throws that one down, once again, Denny's picking pockets left and right, and this time he takes it to all the way, and doesn't get foul like the last game against the Bulls, but um, this game was rough for Denny, this game, Denny truly looked like a rookie, and this, this is what's going to happen. Even though I knocked down shots, I had a lot of turnovers in this game. Rubio was pestering me on defense. I, I just made a few stupid reads whether Rubio was there or not. And this, oh god, <laughs> our test on the damn lob is not going to work. But as you guys know from the rookie showcase, there Carmelo has some freaking terrible hands. You'll be surprised at how bad Carmelo's hands are. As there, I make a nice jump in the passing lane. Um... Kmart tried to get that one, and I messed that up myself. Can I turn it over? I think um, Kevin Martin got me back and picked my pocket. And there, once again, I just jumped that, and I accidentally throw another turnover. But yeah, it's, I'm just going to have some growing pains like this. As a rookie, you know, you're getting used to the game. The, N the NBA is so much different than college. And just the players here are so good, so you just got to learn. You just got to learn, and uh, the Knicks are willing to play me for so long. That's cool. One thing that I didn't expect in this game is I got almost 30 minutes in this game. Now, I was only supposed to get about 21 minutes as the sixth man off the bench. Instead, I got about 30, and the extra minutes, like, I just collapsed in the fourth quarter. I won't even show you that. It was just bad in the fourth quarter, so we lose the game. We're not going to go undefeated this season, unfortunately. <laughs> so, um, we dropped the 2 and one but... You know, still, we, we're learning the game, we're learning the game, and our offensive game is coming together. We knocked down them shot, some shots, and that's promising for um, some games to come. So, hope you guys like this video as Gary Payton becomes my fan. Um, subscribe for more NBA 2K14 My Career Gameplays with Denny Tice, because these are getting great. And I will catch you guys next time as you see all these achievements and stuff coming through.